Today, I want to show you how to create a Squircle in Affinity Designer like this one. That's me. A Squircle is a mix of square and circle, and it is used, for example, for iOS app icons or the account picture of Clubhouse and also for the iPhone design. It's not a simple rounded corner. That's why it is a little difficult to create. At first, select the rectangle tool and create a square by holding the shift key. Put it in the middle of your artboard and make sure that the magnet is activated. When the square is selected, click on Convert to Curves. Next, select the Knot tool. Select all edges and click on Smart. Now you can see that the edges have the same 45 degrees angle. Grab and drag a handle of one of these new smooth corners by holding Command, Control and Shift to a position like this. Repeat this step for all of the four corners and make sure that they are adjusted to the others like this way. Now back to the rectangle tool. Drag a free rectangle to the middle of our strange circle and keep attention on the magnet lines. Now take the move tool again and select both objects by holding shift and click on intersect to create only one edge. By holding shift make it a little smaller. To reach the size of your final icon, you have to create a body between these corners. If the magnet is not working, short click on both objects. You have to make sure that they are adjusted correctly. Duplicate the corner by holding ALT and turning it a quarter by holding SHIFT. Put it on the body and repeat these steps. The last step is selecting all objects. If everything is correct adjusted, the number of width and height should be the same. So now click on add to put it all together as one single curve. Those ghost lines can be deleted by selecting them with the Knot tool and tap Backspace. So this is the base of the icon. Now you can add other graphics or a picture like I did here. I want to show you the difference between a squircle and a square with rounded corners. You can see that the transition of the flat part and the corner is a little softer. And that's it. Thank you for joining this tutorial.